Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and Callie and I are currently out in Southern California in Joshua Tree National Park. And we've brought with us on this road trip the Orca Podster. This is the smaller version of their pod. It has a lot of great features packed into it, starting with the backpack straps. Now, this isn't necessarily a cooler that you wanna throw on maybe and hike 20 miles with. I don't find it to be quite that comfortable, but easily a few miles, I think, are very doable with the system that they're using. They do have some adjustment to the straps, not only obviously down at the bottom for different size bodies, but also up here at the top. This adjustment is what's going to help to really bring that cooler down closer to your shoulder blades or lean it off of your back a little bit. I find that with backpacks, I'm actually adjusting those quite a bit to get a nice comfortable fit. And Orca has included that with the Podster. Also across the straps, you do have the sternum strap to kind of bring that shoulder strap in and prevent it from coming apart, as well as a nice little carrying handle there. Speaking of the handles, you do have two on the sides, so it's easy to pick up and move around. You're not fumbling for handles or wishing that you always had a different handle because this one kind of has all the bases covered. Also, one thing that I really noticed with this is the zipper. It's a little bit tough to actuate and get open and closed the first couple of times. You can lubricate them, but with that, and the reason that it's so tough is because it's waterproof and airtight. So when we got the cooler, we're in Colorado, 8,500 8, feet. I went to unzip it, and it was like opening a can of soda or anything carbonated. Psh, just the air pressure was different from inside the cooler versus at our elevation at the house. So I was pretty impressed because it actually kept all of that inside or outside with this zipper. So it definitely is a waterproof zipper. There's not gonna be any concern about that. Also on the exterior, you can see that you have these pieces of webbing on the sides and on the front. And what that is, it's actually molly. So you can put different molly attachments onto this cooler. And we have a couple right here. This one just holds a water bottle. I guess it could hold anything that you can fit in it. So with the molly attachment, you can actually put it around anywhere on the side, anywhere along the front, or also anywhere along this side of the cooler, as well as a cell phone attachment holder. So again, you can stick it on the molly and put your cell phone in there and always have it accessible on the outside of the cooler. What Cal and I really like about this is we actually have molly accessories from other items that we own, and one of those holds water. So we can put our molly accessory on the outside here and take water with us right on the outside of the cooler, which is really cool. And it's not just Orca that makes the molly accessories. If you get online and you Google molly accessories, you will find a ton of them out there. So if you want something else that Orca doesn't necessarily make, definitely check it out because there, again, are a lot of different ones out there. Now going to the inside of the cooler, we have this one packed right now and we put ice in it about four days ago and we still have a lot of ice in the cooler. I'm not gonna take everything out because it will get covered in sand and that just sucks. But what we're using this for on this road trip are sandwich accessories and maybe some things for morning breakfast like yogurt. We also have the essentials for any road trip like Red Bull. Again, this has been going for four days. These walls are 28 millimeters thick. That ice is gonna stay cold for a really, really long time, as long as you use the cooler appropriately. I'm gonna get a lot of comments, I'm sure, that say, hey, I have one of these. I couldn't keep ice for more than a day and it was melting. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. You need to make sure that when you pack the cooler, the items that you're putting in it start out cold. Also, make sure that the cooler starts out cold. Don't have it in your shed where it's 100 degrees and then pack it with ice and warm contents because that's gonna zap the ice extremely fast. Also, keep it in the shade to help keep it cool. The temps for us on this road trip have not been extremely cold in the daytime. It's in the 40s and in the evening, we've actually been leaving it outside of the vehicle because it gets down into the 20s and low 30s at night. So the ice is gonna stay a lot better than say if you were in the desert and it's 90 degrees every day. But we have been on the road with it every day in the car and it's not cold in the car. It is probably 70 degrees in the car. Like I said, 
four days now and we still have a ton of ice left in this cooler. Everything about this cooler screams durability from the lid to the base to this exterior that's orange. No matter where you put it, it's not gonna get torn up if it's on the rocks or out here in the desert if you happen to throw it into the thorns it's really not gonna get damaged. One thing to note is the shape. If I turn it to the side, you can see that it's actually a little bit rounded here. You can especially see it from looking down at the top. That's something that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, and the reason being is that I feel that with the corners rounded off, I'm losing just a little bit of space with it, as well as with our ice blocks that we currently have, they're square or rectangular, so they don't necessarily fit into the corners perfectly, but really in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge deal and it's definitely not detrimental to us using the cooler. Again, this is made by Orca and it is the Podster. If you guys are going out hiking or on a canoeing trip, whitewater, anything like that, I think this is gonna be a great cooler for it. Throw it on your back and take it on your next adventure. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and we will get back to you. And if you like the videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Again, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.